Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised journal test. If you do not own this book already, purchase me immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on that you will find on page number 296, the data analysis problem number 4, and today is our lesson number 186. Turn to page 296, the very last problem on that page. They give you a relative frequency chart, and the question simply is, they want us to find, the question simply is, what is the mean and the median, mean and the, mean and the, mean and the median of this variable x. So let's find it. Now the reason I did not finish writing this, uh, to filling up all this chart is because, I want you to listen carefully, if something like this appears in the exam, 0 0.18 and 0 0.33 and 0 0.1 and 0 0.06 and 0 0.33, I want you to sit there and say, F it. Forget the decimal point. Just ignore them. Just write this, treat it as a whole number. makes it much easier. I hate dealing with decimals. And when we, get, when we get done with all the work, whatever our answer is, we're just going to move the two decimal places in the answer and that's it. You understand? <coughs> in other words, if somebody gives you the prices of different things in dollars and they tell you this, this thing is this thing is cost, this thing is worth 0.18 dollars and this thing is worth 0.33 dollars and this, this thing is worth 0 0.06 dollars, don't do it in dollars. Convert, convert everything in cents and then at the end if they want the answer in dollars, just move the two decimal places and convert it back into dollars. Do you understand? So let's do it then. So the mean, to figure out the mean, we just have to do the weighted average. We just have to do the weighted average. 0 times 18 plus 1 times 33 plus 2 times 10 plus 3 times 16 3 times 6 and 4 times 33. So let's do it out. 0 times 18 is just a big fat 0. 1 times 33 is 33. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 6 is 18. 4 times 33, that's a tricky one. 4 times 30 is 120. And 4 times 3 is 12. So it's 120 and 12. Or we could do it like this. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 carry 1. And then 4 times 3 is 12 and carry 1 will be 13 we get the same answer. What I, what I was talking about a second ago was we know that 4 times 30 is 120 and 4 times 3 is 12 so therefore 120 plus 12 should be 132 which is exactly what we found. So let's see, we just have to add them up. 3 plus 11, 11 plus 2 is 30, 13, 3, 31, 31 and we get 4, 6, 7, 10, that's it. So we get 200, 200 and 203 and now you can move your decimal places back two places and that's it. So the answer is 2.03. That's the mean. That's the mean. Let's find the median. The mean is 203 that we found there, divide that by 100, and it's 2.03. 2.03. Median is the middle observation, so the very first thing you have to do is figure out how many there are. And that is actually something we don't actually have to do because this is a, this is a relative frequency table, not absolute frequency table. We did that yesterday, which is why I did the problem the one from the page number yesterday we did the problem from the page number 263. And we know that in a relative frequency table, the frequencies have to add up to 100. In the absolute frequency tables, the frequencies are whatever they are. This is not absolute frequency. It is relative frequency. It has to add up to 100. We're just going to see if it does or not. Of course it does because it's a table given by them. How can, how can that be a mistake? So 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 6 is, 11 plus 6 is 17. Plus 3 is 
20, so we get 0, carry 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 3, 1, 10. You see, it adds up to 100. Therefore, therefore, the median is going to be the average of 50th and 51st observation. If we had if we had 101, if we had 101 observation, that would have been very simple. If we had 101 observation, that would have been very simple. We would have put 50 observation to the left of it, 50 observation to the right of it, and the 51st observation would have been would have been the would have been the median. But 51st observation. But since we have even number of observation, the median is going to be the average of the middle two, which is the 50th observation and the 51st observation. We just have to find out where they fall. So let's find out. This is 18, there are 18, 18 zeros, there are 18 zeros and 33 ones. 18 plus 33, oh, what do you know? What do you know? It is exactly 51, which means the 51st observation is 1, and 50th observation is also 1, because we have 18 zeros, we have 18 zeros, a whole bunch of 18 zeros, 18 of them, 18 of them, and then we have 33 ones, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 33 1, which means the 51st observation is 1, and the 50th observation is 1, because they add up to 51 exactly, therefore the median equals 1. That's it. What else are they, what else are they looking for? Just give me a second. Find out what else they're looking for here. That's about it. Now they could have made it. They could have made it actually more interesting by giving it. Let's play around. I don't know if I, if I want to mess around with it or not. Let, let's 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 mess around with it. I'm going to change the problem. I'm going to give you a new problem. We're going to change the problem. Instead of making this 33, let's make this up to 10, this is 32, and this is 11. Had this been the case, had this been the case, what would have been the median? If they had given it something like this. In this case, the median, again, would have been the average of 50th and 51st observations. 18 plus 32 is exactly 50, which means the 50th observation 50th observation in this case is 1 and the 51st observation in this scenario if you were to change the problem from the from what is given to us they had given us 33 and 10 instead of 33 and 10 had, had, been, had it been 32 and 11 of course it would change the it will change the mean, we'll have to do a new calculation, but we're not going to worry about it, I'm just talking about the median. So the 50th observation is 1, and the 51st observation is 2. 51st observation is 2, because 18 plus 32 only adds up to 50, is 2. So in this case, the average of these two numbers, which is going to be, in this case, the median, and that event would be 1.5. Or I should say, not would be, what I should say is, would have been one and a half had they given us 32 and 11 instead of what they actually gave us. That's all. That's it. We are done with this problem. Where's my cat? I will see you tomorrow where we'll do the very first problem on the next page. In the meantime, I'm going to look for my cap here before it, before it dries completely. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.